up, guys? I'm anxious to get back to single player and try to get back home. Um, YouTuber El Heber El Heber suggested that I just dig down, find some redstone, make a compass, and try to get myself home that way. So that's what I'm going to do. And now, stuck in my hidey hole. It's daylight out. But uh, I'm going to go down. Find me some redstone. And get me the hell out of here. Ooh. I'm going to need that to make my compass. The compass is redstone in the middle with four pieces of iron around it. So guys, <laughs> while I'm digging down, what should we talk about? Somebody asked me what kind of characters uh, I played in Dragon Age or Oblivion. I can't remember. I kind of talked about it a little bit last time. Um, I play rogue characters. I like to be able to get into all the boxes and all of the doors. And I like to pick people people's pockets when I can. Because um, I found that in a lot of these kind of games, you find uh, sometimes you find plot items that you never would have found before by getting into uh, places you're not supposed to be. So I like having a stealth character that can do all of the sneaky sneaky business. And like I said before, I like sniping. That's how I like to play pretty much every RPG I've ever played. In Dragon Age Origins, I played an elf. I started with a bow and then I chose dual I restarted with a with an elf that was configured pretty much the same except with dual swords instead because you have a much higher DPS that way than with a bow. And fighting with a bow was challenging in that game. Um, I don't feel like melee was handled in a very good way. Still better than a than Oblivion, I would say though. Oblivion I mean, it's like a, it's like this, like a first person shooter with a bow. I don't have a bow right now, but it's, it feels a lot like shooting in Minecraft and it's not very accurate and I hear spiders. I hope this is recording properly. Maybe there's a maybe there's a spider dungeon nearby. I don't really like dealing with dungeons, but they're not too hard. Basically, you gotta you gotta like leave leave the beasts to despawn for a while. Finally, all right, We're almost home, guys. When you find a dungeon, uh, when I find a dungeon, this is what I do. I'll dig around it, try to find where ground level is, and try to get torches near the spawner cage from below if I can. If I can't do that, I'll go in through the side uh, when there aren't very many monsters already spawned in there. And I'll just... Is there any more around here? You know, fight them and then place torches everywhere. The, you want to place torches quickly so that new monsters will not spawn. If you just stand there in a dungeon, they'll just keep on spawning. Goodness. 
Lava cave. Gold. Worthless gold. For me to roll in. I'll make a gold money pit. In my house. And I can bathe in it. It'll be great. Not seeing monsters yet. Good. I hear them though. Notice how I try to remember to put the torches again on the right hand side. If you haven't seen my other videos, I explained if you keep, it doesn't have to be on the right, but if you always put your torches either on the left or the right, when you go into a new cave system, you'll be able to find your way out by saying, oh, there, it stops here. So just follow back with the torches on the opposite side. Like this. So that kind of helps you from getting lost. Uh, in the big twisty open cave systems, it's not too much help. But it's better than just winding around aimlessly. You can at least see where you've been. See where it's safe. With big, big cave systems, I'll tend to do them a little at a time. Wall off what I can't explore. And save it for later when I either have somebody to help me or, you know, I'm more capable. And sometimes when I'm mining, I'll come in, I'll, f I'll find an area that I haven't explored before and explore it from the other side. Boop. Okay, so if I ever come back here... When I get back up to the surface, I'll make a marker so I know where I've been. I'll make my compass. I'll walk straight home. And I'll do what I should have done in the beginning, which is leave a uh, torch path. Like breadcrumbs. Like I'm Gretel. Somebody told me um, there's a way to get rid of there's a way to get rid of gravel without using uh, a shovel by like placing a torch a certain way. I'm putting this here so that I'll, if when I'm digging out, I fall, I won't fall all the way through. I'll hit the next level. I've done this before where I just went straight up. And of course, like as soon as I get to the top, I fell off and died. <laughs> This game, I mean, there are tutorials for everything, pretty much, done by other people that, like I said, are more knowledgeable about the game than I am, and I've played a lot. It takes me a while to remember things that I haven't used in a while. Like, if I started trying to work with tracks again, I have probably forgotten a lot of the rules by now, since I haven't done it in a while. So, I'll... Throw out some of this cobblestone so I can't carry it on my way back. And uh, let's see. I should probably smelt these so I can make tools on my way. I need to. I shouldn't be that far away from home, but you never know. I take that back. Sometimes you do know, but in this case, I don't know. I don't know how far I am. I know I'm not that far. It's going to be embarrassing. Like <laughs> from now, when I start getting things mapped out and putting torches in places, I'm going to constantly pass this place probably. It's a reminder of earlier days, like finding your old forts after you've made a more professional dwelling. You always want to take your coal out before you break up your oven because I think in my in my case the coal seems to disappear. And it's getting dark out, so I don't know. Might be here a while longer. Go back up for now. See what's going on. Oh, 
Oh, it's coming up. All right, so let's make with my crafting bench. Let's make my compass. And we'll start heading home. It seems like the majority of you guys like the length of the video, so I'll keep them the I'll keep them over 20 minutes. Sometimes sometimes over 30 minutes. But like I said, I just play I just play till I'm done basically. Let's see. Put this here. So I can find that hole again if I want. And compasses always point towards spawn. So now we have proof there are monsters in the game. And we'll start making arrows as soon as I find some string for bows. Oh, I appear to be running bit low on disk 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 space. Running low on disk space. As I'm going home. I see a message. I'm doing all this on a laptop. It's a pretty, it's a pretty, pretty good gaming laptop that I've I haven't had for very long. So uh, it works. It works pretty well. It's not quite as good as, excuse me, my allergies bothering me. Um, it's not, uh, it's obviously not the most cutting edge right now, but it was when I bought it. Uh, pretty cutting edge laptop for gaming. Is that clay? Is that clay? <gasps> clay! Guys, I've never, ever found clay before. Never, 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 never. Whoever whoever plays in uh, our multiplayer world found all the clay that was around us before I ever got to get any. And this time the clay is all mine. Screw you, gravel. I can find you everywhere. Is there any more? I'll make oh. should have been holding shift <laughs> it's not a very tall beacon but in the direction that I'm going in. My guy, god guys, you can make bricks with clay. I can finally build a brick. I've been wanting to make at least a chimney. I just wanted enough clay to make a chimney. Oh, it's dark. Why is it lagging? No. What's going on, guys? Okay, I guess I gotta end my video here because I don't know what the lagging is. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later.